A Jest of Robin Hood, the second fitta, 82 to 143, by Frank Sidgwick argument. The knight goes to York to pay down his 400 pounds to the abbot of St. Mary Abbey, who has retained the services of the High Justice of England, with cloth and fee, an offence defined as conspiracy by statutes of the first three Edwards. The knight, pretending he has not brought the money, requests an extension of time, but the abbot will not hear of it, and is supported in his refusal by the justice. The knight's lands will be forfeited. The justice advises the abbot, 117, etc., to give the knight a sum to make a release, and prevent subsequent legal difficulties. The knight brings the matter to an end by paying down the 400 pounds, saying that had the abbot been more courteous, he should have had interest on the loan. The knight returns to his home in Wiresdale, and saves up the sum to be repaid to Robin Hood. As he sets out for Barnsdale with a goodly company, he finds a great wrestling match taking place at Wentbridge, one, which delays him a while. The word, Frembidae, 138.3, is now obsolete except in Scots and North Country dialect, and is spelled in various ways. It occurs more than once in Chaucer, and twice in Sydney's Arcadia. Fremit, the common Scots form, may be found in Burns. More recently, it appears in books of Westmoreland, Cumberland, or Northumberland dialect. C.P. Mrs. Gaskell, Sylvia's lovers, there's a fremd man I.T. house. It means, foreign, or, strange. Footnote 2, Wentbridge is mentioned in Robin. Hood and the Potter, 6.1. The River Went is the northern boundary of Barnsdale, the second fit of 82. Now is the knight gone on his way. This game HYM thought full goad. Wane he loped on Burnsdale he blessed Robin Hood. 83. And Wane he thought on Burnisdale, on Scarlock, much in. John he blissed them for the best company that ever he and come. 84. Then spake that gentle knight, to lie tell Johann gone he say, tomorrow I must to York Toon, to St. Mary Bay. 85. And to the abbot of that place four hundred pound a I must pay, and but I be. Thereupon this night my Londa is lost for I. 86. The abbot said to his covent, there he stowed on ground a, this day twelfth monith came there a night and borrowed four hundred pound a. 87. He borrowed four hundred pound a. Upon all his Londa free, but he come this ilk. Day disherited shall he be. 88. It is full early, said the priuer, the day is not yet fair gone. I had lever to pay an hundred pound a, and lay down on one. 89. The night is fair beyond day the sea, in England is his right, and suffereth hunger in Calden. Many a sorry night. 90. It were Greta Pite, said the Priuer, so to have his Londa, and ye be so light of your conscience, ye do to HYM mock wrong. 91. Thou art a ever in my bird a, said the abbot, by God and Saint Richard, with that cam in a fat-headed monk, the high. Cellar. 92. He is deedy or hanged, said the monk, by God that bought me dear, and we shall have to spend day in this place four hundred pound day by year. 93. The abbot and the high cellar stare te forth full bold, the high justice of England the abbot there dyde hold. 94. The high justice and many mo had take in to their Honda holy all the nighties debt, to put that knight to wrong. 95. They dem the knight wonder sore, the abbot and his main, but he come this ilk day de charite shall he be. 96. He will not come yet, say the Justice, I dare well undertake, but in sorrow time for them all the knight came to the gate. 97. Then bespake that gentle knight until his mane. Now put on your simple weeds that ye brought fro the sea. 98. They put on their simple weeds. They came to the gates anone. The porter was ready himself and welcomed them ever each one. 99. Welcome, syr knight, said the porter, my lord to meet is he, and so is many a gentle man, for the love of thee. 100. The porter swore a full Greta oath, by God that made me, here be the best coursed oar that ever yet saw I me, 101. Lead them into the stable, he said, that eased might they be, they shall not come therein, said the knight, by God that died on a tray, 102. Lords were to meet I set in that abbate's hall, the knight went forth and knelled down, and saved them Greta and small, 103. Do gladly, syr abbot, said the knight, I am come to hold my day. The first word that the abbot spake, hast thou brought my pay? 104. Not one penny, said the knight, by God that maked me. Thou art a shrewd detour, said the abbot. Sir justice, drink ye to me. 105. 
What dost thou here? Said the abbot, but thou hadst brought thy pay. For God, then said the knight, to pray of a langer day. 106. Thy day is broke, said the justice, Londa gettest thou none. Now, good syr justice, be my. Friende and fend me of my phone. 107. I am hold with the abbot, said the justice, both with cloth and fee. Now, good syr sheriff, be my friende. Nay, for God, said he. 108. Now, good syr abbot, be my friende, for thy curtes, and hold my londas in thy. Honda till I have made the gree. 109. And I will be thy true servante, and truly serve the, till ye have four hundred pound a of money good and free. 110. The abbot swear a full Greta oath, by God that died on a tree, get the londa where thou may, for thou gettest none of me. 111. By dear worthy God, then said the knight, that all this world rot, but I have my londa a gain, full dear it shall be bought. 112. God, that was of a maiden born, lave us well to speed. For it is good to assay a friend or that a man have nade. 113. The abbot loathly on HYM gone loke, and Valainsley HYM gone call. Out, he said, thou false knight, speed thee out of my hall. 114. Thou el yest, then said the gentle knight, abbot, in thy hal. False knight was I never, by God that made us all. 115. Up then stowed that gentle knight, to the abbot said he, to suffer a knight to knell so longe, Thou canst no curtis I. 116. In jousts and in torment full fair than have I be, and put myself as fair in pre's as oni that ever I say. 117. What will ye give more, say the justice, and the knight shall make a relies? And else dare I supply swear ye hold never your londa in peas. 118. An hundred pound a, say the abbot. The justice said, give hym two, nay, be God, say the knight, Yet get a ye it not so. 119. Though ye walled give a thousand more, yet were ye never the ne'er. Shall there never be mine hair abbot, justice, nay frere. 120. He stirred hym to a board onone, till a table round a, and there he shook out of a bag even four hundred pound. 121. Have here t gold, sir abbot, said he the knight, which that thou lenest me. Had thou been curts at my coming, rewarded shouldest thou have be. 122. The abbot sat still, and eat no more, for all his real fare. He cast his heed on his shoulder, and fast began to stare. 123. Take me my gold again, said he the abbot, Sir Justice, that I took thee. Not a pen I, said the justice, by God, that died on tree. 124. Sir abbot, and ye men of law, now have I hold my day. Now shall I have my londa again, for aught that you can say. 125. The knight stirred out of the door, away was all his care, and on he put his good clothing, the other he left there. 126. He went to HYM forth full merry singing, as men have told in tale. His lady met HYM at the gate, at home in Verisdale. 127. Welcome, my lord, said his lady. Seer, lost. Is all your good? Be merry, dame, said the knight, and pray for Robin Hood. 128. That ever his soul be in Blyse, he hope me out of Tanay. Nay had be his kindness, beggars had we been a. 129. The abbot and I accorded Ben, he is served of his pay, the god yeoman. Lend it me as I can by the way. 130. This night then dwelled fair at home, the soth for to say, till he had get a four hundred pound, al ready for to pay. 131. He purveyed him an hundred bows, the stringies well wide dight, an hundred chefe of a rose goad, the headies. Burnished full bright, 132. And every arrow in L lounge, with peacock well eye dight, in oct all with white silver, it was a seemly sight, 133. He purveyed him an hundredth men, well harnessed in that stayed, and hym self in that same set, and clothed in white and reed. 134. He bare a lonsgay in his Honda, and a man led his mail, and redden with a light songe unto Bernaysdale. 135. But as he went at a bridge there was a wrestling, and there tarried was he, and there was all the best Yemen of all the west country. 136. A full fare. Game there was upset, a white buell up I pite, a Greta courser, with saddle and bridle, with gold burnished full bright. 137. A pair of gloves, a reed gold ringay, 
a pipe of wine, in fay. What man that beareth hym best iwys the price shall bear away. 138. There was a yeoman in that place, and best worthy was he, and for he was fair and frembede bested, slain he should have be. 139. The knight had ruth of this yeoman, in place where that he stowed. He said he that yeoman should have no harm, for love of Robin Hood. 140. The knight pressed into the place, and hundredth followed hym, free, with bows bent and arrows sharp, for to shenda that company. 141. They shouldered all and made hym roam, to wete what he walled say. He took the yeoman by the hand, and gave hym al the play. 142. He gave hym five mark for his wine, there it lay on the mould, and bad it should be set a broche, drinky who so walled. 143. Thus Lange tarried this gentle night, till that play was done. So long abode Robin fast inch three oars after the nun. 